evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to A in News with Tua Abdullah and Sarah El Sher reporting this week's top stories. Uh, top stories of the week uh, we have traffic arrives in Sharjah and the issue remains unsolved. The interference of the Iranian government in Syria's case causes tension in the region. I think science exhibition encourages youth into creativity. Russia and AUE strengthening bonds over the years are attempting to form a partnership. Parking issues arise as admission rates in Dubai universities increase. Uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid surprises diners in famous restaurants in Dubai. Uh, stay tuned after the break. Streets in Sharjah are getting slower day by day because of the number of cars and small roads. Also, accidents are slowing down the drivers on their way to work or schools. This problem became a huge blocking for most of people. The most heavy traffic road is King Faisal Road and Al Wahda Street. Traffic starts in the morning at 6 a.m. till 8 a.m. and in the afternoon from 12 to 3 p.m. This issue remains unsolved for police and RTA charge. AE has required the determination of conflicts in Syria and Yemen and independence continues making tension in the region. Jamal al-Musharrah, Delegate Permanent Representative of the UAE to the United Nations, delivered the UAE's announcement at the Security Council's open debate on the situation in the Middle East, including the Palestinian case. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Think Science Fair was an event hosted at Dubai World Trade Center, giving competitors the opportunity to showcase their creativity in scientific inventions that could change the world. Although Think Science Fair consisted of three days only, it has welcomed 1,500 visitors and hundreds of participants from schools and universities across the country. Uh, hi, my name is Dana Abdurrahman. Uh, I'm a competitor in Think Science. Um, so Think Science consists of three main days. The first day is the judging day. We have two sessions. Uh, one session is in the morning and one session is in the evening or in the afternoon. And between the two sessions, people from uh, all, uh, all around the UAE come to visit us and see all the creative uh, ideas that, uh, yeah, and projects that are developed and made by Emirati students or by any other school in the UAE. And in the second day, we also have uh, two sessions, uh, one in the morning and one in the evening. And Sheikh Diab Al Nayyan has vis visited us and uh, saw our projects. And in the third uh, day, it's the final day. And in this day, uh, there is one judging session. And people come from all schools uh, to see our projects. And after that, uh, Sheikh uh, Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid. <laughs> Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, was welcomed warmly at the Kremlin by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The two sides discussed ways to combat terrorism and also the distinct issues of the situation in the Middle East. Steps to help increase peace were on top of the list during the high-level meeting. Sheikh Mohammed spoke of the importance of the relationship and said that the two sides could cooperate in all areas of trade and strengthen business ties in the future. Over the weekend, Dubai's ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid has surprised diners at a famous restaurant in Dubai at Medina Jumeirah. It took only seconds for diners to start clicking pictures of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid along with his entourage. It is also reported that this is not the first time Dubai's ruler has unexpectedly showed up in Dubai. He has also visited the Western Dubai Hotel last weekend at Dubai Marina. Admission rates arise within Dubai universities between 2016 and 17. Another problem issue arise in return parking congestion. Campuses in Dubai have thousands of parking spaces, but according to students, they never remain sufficient. Wasting hours of their classes, parking in undesignated areas, and also attempt to sneak into faculty parking slots. One university stated that it provides white parkings on both sides of the road, however students refuse to park anywhere far away of the entrance. This problem still remains unsolved. Uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen, have a nice evening.